and welcome back to the channel. If this is your first time here, my name is Leia. This is Andrew. We are currently on our way to pick up our surprise that I told you guys about in my last video. There were a couple of, um, I guess, guesses of what you guys thought our surprise was gonna be and there were a lot of good ones. No, I'm not pregnant. I know I saw that one, which was pretty funny and fun and cute because, you know, one day, one day I'll have that surprise for you guys. But there was a good guess, which was that we were gonna adopt a puppy, and you're pretty spot on. We are actually on our way to a city called Merced, which is about 45 to an hour away from Fresno, and we are going to pick up a Golden Retriever puppy. We are so excited. It was um, almost like a spur of the moment decision, Yes and no. I will say that we had, after losing Jack, and Jack passed in November of last year, our house just became so empty and like the heart of the home like was gone. And if you guys have ever had a Golden Retriever, you know their personalities are like larger than life. And I had talked about like not getting a dog for a while because even though they're so rewarding and they're amazing, they are definitely like a lot of work and a lot of hair. You know, if you want to travel and stuff, they're, they're big dogs. So you either need to find someone that you can trust or that's going to take care of them. So it's definitely a responsibility. But after not having Jack, we just like noticed like how quiet the house was. And we actually were talk. we've been talking about it, how we really enjoyed the three of us with like Andrew, me and Sin, our miniature pincher, but something has always been missing and we definitely know we will never like replace Jack, but that golden personality is definitely missing from our house. And I don't even know how it came about, but like one morning Andrew was on Facebook, is that correct? Yeah, it's like, it was fate that we saw this because he has like, oh, how do you describe that Facebook page? Like, it's a Facebook page for like, it's like, a, like a professional Facebook, it's like a, like a Facebook marketplace, but for people who work in his profession. And so he, we came across, or he came across this post one morning that said like, she had a golden retriever, a female, her name is Stevie, and this was her dog, and she left her dog with a friend's dog who also had a golden retriever, and she was unaware that her dog Stevie was in heat, and she ended up becoming pregnant. So it was like an unplanned pregnancy, and Stevie ended up having 10 beautiful puppies. We've seen and we've hung out the puppies already a couple of times. So this has been a secret I guess we've had for like a month now because she's finally eight weeks and we get to bring her home. We are actually getting a female golden retriever this time. And Stevie, the mom, had 10 puppies. She had eight girls and two boys. And she didn't know what to do with them because again, this wasn't a planned litter. She's not a breeder. She just had this like oops litter and they just so happened to be pure breed golden. So it was kind of like fate that we saw this and the funny thing or not funny, but super coincidence is that Jack's birthday was on December 27th and these puppies were born December 28th. So the gal who is the owner of Stevie, she said that the mom Stevie went into labor on the 27th, which is Jack's birthday. So I don't know if those are like signs, but those are definitely things that we were like, we took notice, like we were meant to see this post and it's almost like, it feels like, you know, your dog, like Jack brought this dog to us or maybe we're just creating false signs that we just want to believe. I don't know. False signs, they're meant to be. That's yeah. That's about us more towards the dog. So it definitely intrigued us just to want to go look at the litter. So randomly, we decided, like when we saw that post, we reached out because she's like, I have, um, at the time she had eight because the two boys was, were going to be gone to her coworkers. And so there was going to be eight girls and we were like, honestly, I didn't really care if we were going to get a boy or a girl because I would be happy with either. And we decided to reach out and we asked her if she 
was available so we could like see the dogs and she said yes. So that day we actually drove up to Merced and we came to look at the puppies and at that point they were what, like a, a week old? Yeah, they were so tiny. They like were the size of the palm. I'll try to insert photos guys because I've already been documenting certain things and I don't know how I'm going to enter them in this video but I've been documenting things. We've visited the puppies twice. We've watched them grow. We got to pick the puppy that we want and we are very excited to have her. We haven't actually seen her now in like over a month because we saw them when they were like I actually think it was like a week or two weeks old and then we saw when they were a month old and then now we're gonna see them now that they're two months old and when they're eight weeks they can separate from the mom so I'm definitely feeling a lot of emotions I was just telling Andrew that I feel really sad that we're taking her away from her mom but I know she's gonna have a great life with us and we've been collecting things here and there for the dog like we got her dog food we got her crate set up and we're so excited for her to meet Sin and Sin's gonna be of the big sister now and we're excited to have that golden personality. I'm very nervous to bring a puppy in because we were so happy and content with our mature dogs at the point of life that we were in. They're the best. They are. Honestly, I was also explaining to Andrew, I don't even know why adult and senior dogs are always in the, in the dog pound. I know why people love puppies because they are cute, but senior dogs is literally like where it's at. It's the best stage of life for a dog. As long as they're not sick with a ton of health problems, because I know that can be very hard and financially really hard and just emotionally, but they're the best dogs. They're so calm. They're so chill. They're so loving. They know how to like do their zoomies and have their hype moments of high energy. And then they just know how to chill, relax and sleep. They are seriously the best dogs. I kind of cut off a little bit, but I don't remember what I was saying. But long story short is that I'm just very nervous uh, to bring a puppy back in. But if she's anything like how Jack was, Jack was like the easiest transition. He slept throughout the night. He was just such a good dog. And I'm expecting her to be the same way because she is a golden retriever breed. So we are about 10 minutes away from grabbing her or picking her up or kidnapping her, whatever you want to call it. <laughs> I will reveal her name when I show you who she is and yeah and then I'll try to an insert all the footage that I've had and I've taken since she was a puppy like when we first met her and up until now and then when she meets Sin and I'm just really excited and I this is a new chapter for us definitely I know people ask us like why are you getting another, another dog but you're either a dog person or you're not and it's like why not we have a home we have so much love to give and because we currently do not have kids like they are our kids and this is the dog this dog is so important to us because this is the dog that's gonna grow up with our children just because of the timing of our life you know I'm about to be 35 years old so if we want kids we need to have them soon and this dog just turned eight weeks old so she is literally like going to be the BFF of our children so she's definitely super important to us. We knew like with Jack because just of his age like he was like our dog for like my younger years but this dog is now like for our children so she plays a huge important role in our family and I'm just excited to see like Sin as a big sister now because she was always like the little sister and we would always like say like you know Jack take care of the house you're in charge or Andrew would say like take care of your mom which is me but now like sin is in charge because it's now it's like her moment and she's been doing great like these last three months she's been thriving and I don't know maybe sin was meant to be an only like dog and we're like oh my god we're gonna rock her world when we bring in a little puppy so I'm definitely curious I know she's gonna probably like be so curious in the beginning but I truly feel like she'll be happy. I really do because she thrived with Jack. So I really think she'd be really happy. So stay tuned for when we pick up the puppy and when I show you the puppy and then for when Sin meets the puppy. I can't get this ball off my face. <laughs> be serious, ready? One, two, three, go. You guys can actually already see her face right here. Oh my God. Are you ready to meet her? <laughs> Get on the right lane, girl. <laughs> I first want to say it was 
so happy to, I was so happy to see all the brothers and sisters because again, we haven't seen them in over a month. And I didn't want to record really in there because that's her home. I didn't want to put her home on blast, but you see her, she's coming into the screen. Um, it was made for the kids. She was a little bit wet because she gave her a bath and she was a little bit wet. She was a little bit shaky because she was cold. But honestly, I thought it was going to be a little bit rough because when we held her, she was like shaking. But I think she might have just been cold from the water too because even though they're goldens, they are puppies. Oh, hi, girl. And she just wants to lick my neck. Huh. Use a lick, ne a lick necker? Use a lick necker? But I think she's, like, warming up to me really, really, really well. And I recorded, actually, she got to say her, like, goodbye to her mom. And I'll still be able to, like, connect with the, the gal who had these puppies because we are, like, friends on Instagram and stuff like that. So she'll still be able to see her grow. And I'll still be able to get photos of the mom. But in terms of, like like her hanging out with like her brothers and sisters and her mom that was the last time and that does make me sad but I do love that she's not shaking anymore and she's here on my lap and she's she does seem very comfortable and she's gonna have a great life like that's one thing I'm just trying to tell her is that she will have a great life with us and with Cinny and she's gonna have a house and she's gonna go on a lot of walks and She's gonna be going to the beach, the snow, like we have, this is gonna be her truck. The whole back seat is for her. And she's gonna have a lot of great like adventures with us. So we definitely like are really happy. And we were at the spot where we were willing to like open up our hearts again to another golden uh, retriever. Again, if you guys have never had a golden, if one day you're up for a big dog, I will say definitely like big dogs are work. Little dogs are nothing. And I know cause I've had both. I just decline it I've had both a little dog and a big dog and little dogs are just so easy um, big dogs are definitely a challenge so if you are up for a challenge and you want to experiment with a big dog a golden retriever is the best way to go they're so rewarding they're so kind um, but they could also be protective and they could also be aggressive too I don't want you guys to think that they can't a lot of people don't think goldens can be aggressive but they can a dog, is a, dog. a dog is a dog yeah and I'm rambling already but do you guys want to meet her and should we tell her the name? Tell you guys the name? I'll let Andrew tell the name as soon as I, or should I wait till we get a green? No, that's fine. Go okay, on. so. Everybody, please meet Winter. <laughs> I was rather late, girl. So <laughs> this is Winter. Hi, girl. Hi, girl. So we named her Winter. You see her body. <laughs> so the name, we had so many names in mind. I really liked food names. I loved the name Beignet. Beignet. We loved the name Dole Whip because you guys know we're big Disney people. But I was also thinking about like shortened named or nicknames. And how do you shorten Dole Whip? You call them Dole or Whippy or Whip or I don't know. But Beignet was actually a probably like a really close second. Beignet is just really cute. My niece said that we should name her Potato because just the way she looks. I also really loved the name Espresso because I've just been into coffee lately. The thing is I think of Espresso and I think of like a dark colored dog and she's definitely more golden. But I didn't really want to play off golden names like Ginger or like, what are other golden names? Like, I don't know. Just just names that remind you of a golden retriever because I feel like they're just so outplayed. Ginger was one of them that I can think of that. Um, or like coffee. I didn't want to name her coffee. So I thought about, okay, like starting to think outside the box. And then Andrew mentioned autumn because, or did you mention fall? You mentioned autumn. Yeah, but he brought up a season. season. And I was summer. like, what about winter? I literally thought it, but it really wasn't even just fully me who thought about it. It's Andrew who mentioned a season. I think it was autumn. He said autumn. Um, yeah, well, I mean, it was like a two-way, you know, we kind of thought about it together. But, and the reason winter just fit is because she was born in winter. Her birthday is December 28th, one day after Jack's, uh, 2023. And we are getting her today, February 17th, 2024. And we are still in the season of winter. So it fit very, very well. 
and I think the name winter is beautiful. I've never really, I mean, obviously I've heard of the word winter, it's a season, but I've never met any other dog named winter. I've never met a person named winter and I'm sure they're out there. You don't have to tell me in the comments. I know they're out there, but I've never met anybody named winter. And to me it was like super original, super cutesy, girly, and that's what she's gonna be. She's definitely gonna be a badass, but she is gonna be a cutesy little girl and she's gonna be, you know, the highlight of our hearts right there with Sin. They are gonna be our highlight. So that's where the name Winter came about and you guys will start seeing her as she grows. I was thinking about doing certain like TikToks with her that I've seen and I just want a lot of memories of like videos with her and this video already means a lot to me because like this is the day that we got her and so looking back on this video like in five years from now when she's like a big dog and maybe she'll be a mom herself at that point or could have been a mom and the fact that she's this small sitting on my lap because you guys know like goldens are gonna grow they won't be sitting on your lap forever you know but she's on my lap she's not shaking anymore she was shaking a little bit earlier I have her on a towel only because she was a little bit wet I wanted her to be a little bit warm so I have her on my lap but you guys will definitely see more of her I'll show you guys one more time she's got the cutest little face um, Andrew actually selected her because, again, there was eight girls and Andrew thought that she looked very similar to Jack in her color. A lot of the Goldens were way more red and she has more of like um, a true golden look. And then just her size, look at her little belly right here. She ate already this morning, huh? Your little panzonita, a panzona. Hi, girl. Hi, precious girl. She has no idea what's going on. She's like, what the heck is going on? But, oh my God, that's so cute. We just love her. Love her dearly already. <laughs> Hi, you're going home? You're gonna meet your big sisters? You're gonna meet your big sisters? You're gonna be bigger than her, but she's always gonna be your big sisters, huh? Huh? She'll be snapping at her. Yeah, she's definitely gonna be a puppy. Uh, she's gonna, we're gonna be in our puppy era right now. <laughs> About to start the puppy era, so. But she has the best face, right? Look at that face. Huh, girl, you are so cute, huh? She's like, I'm not a doll, stop. <laughs> but yeah, she's just laying right here on my lap. But that's winter and um, I can't wait for her to meet Sin right now and just can't believe now we have a puppy, oh my God. <laughs> This is Cinny. She's about to meet Winter right now. Huh, she can smell her on me. She's investigating my bristles. She's like, what is going on? Let me call and tell her he can bring her in. Hey, you can bring her in. She's ready. Okay. I'm gonna go out to the garage, right? Yeah, yeah, that's fine. Okay, and just FYI, I want to be inside the house, so I'll have Sin like a little further out away. She's over here. We're in the house. living room. Okay. Okay. I'm gonna. Okay. Okay. Bye. Come here, Sinny. She knows something that's going on. Is something up, Sinny? Yeah, something's up, but she knows me, huh? Huh? Come here. You're gonna meet your sister right now? Your sisters? This is gonna be interesting, huh? The first time meeting your sister? <gasps> Come here. <laughs> Are you in here, Drew? Come here, Sinny. Sin Sin. Come here, girl. Who is this, Sin Sin? Who is that? What's going on? She said she missed Sin Sin. 
on? Mm -hmm. Do you feel betrayed? Hey, Winter. What do you think, Timmy? Did she speak? What do you guys think? Huh? Sorry, Dora. I didn't mean to block you. She's curious. She's just just watching and curious, smelling her. <laughs> oh, she thinks. <laughs> what do you think? That's your sister. Oh my gosh! Looks like Simpson has allergies. Look, they Sin went that way. <laughs> went turkey this way. <laughs> oh, so I'm your favorite now, Pliny. What happened, you guys? Is this a uh, we're still unsure? Go meet her. job, Cindy. You're not growling. You're not snapping. Good girl. My good girl, Cindy. My good girl, Cindy. Hmm? Just turn around. Come here. We got to show her the house. Come here. Come. Yeah. I think Sin is really excited and interested, and I think just Winter's a little scared right now, huh? Because you haven't seen anybody but your brothers and sisters, and then... Hmm? <laughs> what do you think, Denny? Should we I keep her or no? I hope Sin Sin doesn't get sick. Why Sin? would Sin get sick? She's got all she her vaccines. I don't know. She looks like she's like, I don't know. You know, they're a big sister. The only advantage Sin has over her is that she's a lap dog. She's going to enjoy that size for as long as she can because she's going to be allowed on the couch. Oh, that's going to be your new food, girl. You already smell it? That's what you're trying to get her? Yeah, that's her food right there. She's done a lot of it. Look at Sin shaking. No, she's, she's not shaking, Mom. She has anxiety. Like the, like the mom? Like, like, a, like any dog. I think it's just new. She's trying to figure out what's going on. Hassan, you're like, what is going on? Did Jack get small? <laughs> Hi, Winter. I know the jacket's small. Is that why the Jack, my brother, has been gone so long? <laughs> I put it on the floor. Why did he go? It was like a bad day. She can't, she can't get it. Grandma's? Your grandma's? Your new grandma's? She's trying to smell me, huh? It, she'll, she'll start licking your neck a little bit, too. She's like, who's this? <laughs> you trying to smell me? Well, I'm trying to smell you. She's trying to just, like, recognize, I'm like... trying to get to know you. She's like, who is this person? Factory's closed, guys. Hi, Steve. Bowie. Always in the way. Aww. Okay. Greatest mistake ever. <laughs> no. Look at the green that one. This is the green one. face. Oh my god, she's precious. Hi, girl. Hi, girl. What do you think? What are you thinking? What are you thinking? 
Are you tired, girl? Are you tired? <laughs> <laughs> She's so cute. She is so Aww. cute. How come you're not like that with me? It's because he has a beard. <laughs> I don't have a beard. What funny looking thing is this in front of my face? I don't have a dad. Oh. Aww. Oh, do you plan on having him come or? Probably not, just because my coworker's work schedule. Um, I'd probably have to take him there, but he's a Madeira, so he's hard to bring 10 puppies to the park. Yeah. So, they actually did pretty well going to the river bed. It had to be a lot harder than you guys